This is a unique PVC design that has a reinforced roof to hold up to winter conditions. We plan on removing the panels and the tarp and replacing it with a greenhouse plastic this season. Hi, it's Daniel Ramey with Circo Innovations. Today we have the heavy duty PVC carport. We're gonna show you how to build that. Let's get started. So what makes this stronger than the other carports out there? First of all, we have a 10 foot piece of PVC pipe coming through with snap crosses. We also have two foot centers that are put onto stakes through every single hoop. We also have five points of contact using the slip crosses and the slip tees on the ends. This ties the hoops together and makes a stronger design. As you can see, we also have grizzly board that's layered along the top, screwed into the pipe, that creates a strong webbing for those hoops. The first part of the process is to make your design square and to lay out where each corner will be placed. 10, you can take a measurement of that. So we did eight feet by eight feet, and then it should come out to 10. We'll yeah. Our, our good angle. You will need 15 sections of inch and a quarter PVC pipe. To get that length of 25 feet, you're going to need a 20 foot section with a bell end. Then you will cut a section that is 5 feet long and add it to that 20 foot section. Then clean and attach all your 20 foot sections to your 5 foot sections. We're going to have four on this side, one on the side of the five foot section behind the bell. Inch and a quarter slip tees. At the halfway point at 12 foot six. Okay. 12 foot six for center. So we're gonna center our slip tee. 12 foot six. Okay. We're going to mark each side of it so we don't lose that measurement. We have our center cross set to 146 and 3 eighths. That's going to be a center. Next, we're going to be going from the center out four feet for the next four-way to the outside of it. Just like that, we're gonna mark it, and then we're gonna go on the other side, also four feet from center to this side, and mark it at four feet as well. All right, we're at 113 inches to the peak, uh, and that's roughly nine and a half feet high. You will need 65 sections cut to 21 and 3 eighths. Those are the rib spacers. Use a rubber mallet to fully seat the pipe into the fittings. Then take a screw gun and place self-tapping screws to hold them in place. We suggest only doing three ribs at a time so you can fully seat them correctly. Next we'll be placing the 4x8 grizzly board on top of the structure. If you can't find grizzly board, just find a similar plastic or metal material. As you can see in the video, the reason we spaced our fittings four foot from the middle on each side so these panels would fit perfectly. Now you're ready to cover your design. We used a 24 by 30 foot tarp. 
We threw the tarp over long ways, unfolded it, and then used snap clamps to assist us in stretching the tarp over. Next we're taking the sections that are cut to 21 and 3 8 for this bottom half of the structure on both sides. We're going to be placing them in here. We're going to have them at 16 inches from uh, center. We found that to be able to put all these fittings in with the sections, you're going to have to raise this up three or more feet and then get it in the middle of those ribs so you have more flex. After everything is in, then use a rubber hammer and systematically get them down to the level you need them at. All right, so what we're doing here, we took a string. Uh, it's an easy way to make sure you're completely level and horizontal uh, on this bottom rung for your uh, cover here. Now we're gonna take three of the short self-tapping screws and tie them in so these portions can't move. For extra support, we're going to be using a 10-foot section of PVC pipe along with snap crosses, creating a support beam that alleviates the side-to-side -side motion. I do suggest having two people while doing this portion of the design because it has a springing mechanism until you screw those into place. To cover the ends of the carport, we use this 9x12 tarp. You simply open the tarp fully, use one snap clamp directly in the center. From there, you would tuck the tarp underneath the large tarp, then place snap clamps around the whole edge. If you want to gain access to the carport without taking the whole side off, we'll show you how to do that pretty easily. Take off some of your snap clamps. There you go. Next we will be showing what we did in the front portion of the design. It's a little different because it has a roll up mechanism. For this portion we use the Zebo clamp in conjunction with the Zebo rods to make this front entryway. We snap these Zebo clamps on and place them just like so and we did about every foot between them. Hold this tarp really nice and taut and we snap them on. Our measurement came out to 12 foot 4 for this bottom portion here. So we cut that to length and we glued a L onto one side of that piece of the pipe. And then we're going to have a reducer going in right here. Next, we're going over the crank assembly. You're going to need a seven inch section of pipe that's one inch. You're going to put that into your reducer there. Next piece you'll need is an L, a one inch L. It's going to go on the end of that seven inch section. Coming out of that L, you're going to need a six and a half section of PVC pipe. This is also in one inch. That's going to go on the other end of the L. And lastly, you're going to place cap on the end of this crank. So now we're making two roll-up stand setups here. So what we need to make that is one section cut to 13 and a quarter inches. We need one Y. We need one section cut to 11 and a half inches long. We need one 45 degree and one four and a half inch section. This is all an inch and a quarter. Now we're going to work on this portion. Place the stake in the ground. We're going to place one more behind this back portion right there as well. And keep it nice and firm. We're going to have our uh, Y coming up. Out of the Y, we're going to have uh, a 65 inch section of pipe coming out. And at the very top, we're going to have another Y with two four inch sections coming out.
Now we're gonna be attaching the roll mechanism. We're having a snap cross placed right here on each side. That pipe's gonna snap in, just like that. And we're gonna take the tarp This is how our greenhouse would sit before rolling it up. It's fully attached, fully secured. It's not going anywhere. Nice and firm on there. Now, if we wanted to roll it up, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pop off the Zebo rods on both sides. And then we're going to come over here and pop off the snap cross on both sides. Now we're gonna roll her up. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. To purchase any of our items, go to www.circoinnovations.com. Head to the top. Yeah. Wait, this one.